Hey everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com, and as always, Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. And yesterday, we finally got it, the long-awaited second trailer to Ghostbusters Afterlife. Which means today, I'm here to dissect it, and see what little bits of information we can extract out of it, and what easter eggs we may come across. So let's go ahead and dive in. The trailer opens up with dialogue between Carrie Coon's character Callie and Paul Rudd's character Mr. Gruberson. As they talk about Callie's children, Trevor and Phoebe. We see Spinner's, the restaurant that the character Lucky has been confirmed to work at. Phoebe showing her sciency side working on something? Is it part of a trap? Kind of looks like a PKE meter handle. I don't know, I guess we'll find out in November. She's an awkward, nerdy kid. Oh, that was a waste of a perfectly good bag of Doritos. We once again see Phoebe solving the floor puzzle from the first trailer, finding the ghost trap that's been hidden away underneath the floorboards. And mentioning the first trailer again, we once again see Trevor and Lucky heading to the old Somerville mine shaft. Now confirmed by director Jason Reitman, you'll see all these antennas on top of the house, which is actually a nod to all the electronics on top of the Ecto-1. Why is there so many torn apart cars? Was Egon using these to soup up the Ecto-1? You know, making new additions to it for things like, I don't know, the gunner seat? It has a gunner seat? We then see this framed classic image of the original four Ghostbusters that was taken on set of the first film. You can even see the firehouse in behind them there. The one, the only, the stunning Annie Potts. He can hardly keep the power on. Now Annie mentions about keeping the power on. We see flickering lights. Just an idea, but how cool would it be that if the way Egon communicated with Phoebe was, you know, flickering the lights. Leading her to areas around the farmhouse. Helping and aiding her in her quest to become a Ghostbuster. Trevor, of course, revs up the engine and we get more shots of him driving through the field. Hey buddy, fix that shirt. Nobody wants to see that belly. Now much like the first Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer, we once again get Mr. Gruberson talking about earthquakes. Which, what's causing earthquakes? I don't know, maybe Gozer? More on that later. Speaking of that original Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer, they actually changed the colors of the specter coming out of the mine shaft. It now has this reddish-orange tone, while previously it was green. Maybe it's the apocalypse. Perfect deadpan Harold Ramis delivery. McKenna Grace is an absolute gift. We get this beautiful shot of Dorothy Alberta where this scene was filmed, following Phoebe on her bed watching old videos of the Ghostbusters on YouTube. It's okay, kid. That's how I spend every single night. Now, when it comes to the playlist on the right-hand side, you know, the up next videos on YouTube. Some are kind of hard to distinguish what they are, especially the title. Now, the first one up top there, I think the title of the video is What Really Happened in 84 or What Really Happened in NYC, something along those lines. And the thumbnail is clearly New York City as all the specters and ghosts were kind of, you know, flying around it there. After that, we've got ourselves a Ghostbusters playlist, and I hope maybe a couple of Ghostbusters news videos made that playlist. The next video, the caption reads, 10 signs the government is run by Shandorians, with a thumbnail of Dana Barrett's apartment building. After that, we got a video that's titled, The Ghostbusters, Where Are They Now? And you can see an image there of both Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray, along with a recent photo of Dan Aykroyd and a question mark. The next video, the title looks like it reads, Stay Puffed NYC Marshmallow Cleanup. And it is clearly the end scene from the original Ghostbusters film. And then there's a video of a dog. And all it says is, cute dog wants snack. We then see somebody grabbing a hold of the PK meter. And that looks like an older individual's hand. Hmm. Dan? Is that, is that you? We then see Callie with a light in behind her kind of moving on its own. And once again, what if a ghost is moving that light? And what if that ghost is Egon? We then go to Walmart with Mr. Gruberson and the Mini Puffs. Oh, I, I strangely really, really love that. I'm, I'm a sick, sick man. And right here, it looks like we have a new Gozer's Temple. A huge Gozer statue can be seen along with Sentinel Terror Dogs. You know, the same Terror Dogs that Hasbro revealed yesterday as part of their Ghostbuster Plasma series Build-A-Figure. We see the top of the mineshaft covered in a cloud and also purple lightning much like we saw from the temple in the original Ghostbusters film. From there, there's also numbers on the wall here that I have no idea what they mean, what their purpose is. I mean, I'm sure they have a purpose, but I, I have no idea what, what they are right now. Hear that? Wait a second, what is down there? Like, I know there's ghosts down there, 
But could that also be some kind of underground pit of slime? You know, underground slime like we saw in Ghostbusters 2? Coming. All right, there's no denying it. We know exactly who that is. That is the return, the coming of Gozer. Streets are getting torn apart and we see these specters in the air which Jason Reitman confirmed this effect was taken from the original film's 70 millimeter footage. How cool is that? This ghost miner is just getting himself a nice cup of coffee. And I love the look of him because he gives me such strong zombie taxi cab driver flashbacks from the first movie. And that is a very, very good thing. Once again, I love the look of this ghost miner or a minor ghost. Miner spelled M-I-N-E-R. You know, like somebody who mines for gold. I'm not saying this ghost is like a child, like a miner. Because, I mean, look at him. At one time, you can tell he had like a ton of facial hair. You know what? I'm just going to stop talking about the uh, the ghost miner here. Let's let's continue. And right there, we've got ourselves a spectral terror dog. <laughs> we then get this great shot of a regular terror dog busting out of the front of a Walmart. And judging by the horn structure, that's Vin's Clortho. The same terror dog that went after Louis Tully in the first film. You don't think Mr. Gruberson will be this film's Louis Tully. Do you? Stay Puff Marshmallow Man advertisement. We then get to see the RTV in action and our first in-film clear shot of Muncher. Oh, look at his little teeth. Such a cutie. Such an ugly, disgusting cutie. Ghostbusters, we're ready to believe you. An old Ghostbusters commercial is once again shown on YouTube. And this time around, the up next videos to the right, they're a bit clearer to actually see. With the first one being one of the ones we saw earlier in the trailer. 10 signs the government is being ran by Shandorians. Followed by where are the Ghostbusters now? Then we have Proton Acceleration with Megan Amram. And then lastly, Savage Science of the Proton Pack. Which is clearly going to be a video that's going to feature Tested's Adam Savage. And just when you think the trailer is going to come to an end, here we are. We are at Ray's Occult Bookstore which totally confirms Ghostbusters 2 is canon. But yeah, back to Ray's Occult's bookstore there, you can see the set dressing is perfect down to the red phone, and Dan Aykroyd now has a tattoo on his left forearm, which reads Revelations 612. An obvious nod to the classic bridge scene from the first Ghostbusters movie. And that about does it for our breakdown of the brand new Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer. Is there anything that we missed? Let us know down below in the comments section. That does it for this video. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, be sure to check out our Patreon page. A link to that can be found right down below in the description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time. Something strange coming out to play And I'm noticing effects of a night and day So I'm picking up the phone, they were dialed away Heard a thing to pray to know Ghosts, no one had arms reaching out of a store So to to rise on some with Vince Boy though Just got a call and I'm ecto cool Grab your tools, it's time to fight Zool This proton charge, you go run you extra Put storage of the beast on your branch your checkbook You might want a warranty in case it happens down the line Everybody's going down in time, remember you